Hello, in this video I'm going to unbox this, Kings of War Abyssal Dwarf Army. Okay, let's go! So I recently picked this up from uh, Neverboards, it's part of my growing Abyssal Dwarf Army, or Habit Dwarfs if I use them in Age of Fantasy. Let's see what's inside then. Well, obviously know what's inside, it's always on top. So we should get 30 of the new really nice plastics. This guy is quite an old one. This reminds me of um, one of the old Chaos Dwarf characters who was turned to stone. One of the wizards turns to stone and had a mechanical body. And um, we get ten of these bull centaurs. I'm looking forward to seeing them. I'm not sure if they're plastic or resin or metal, so let's see what's inside. Now, I think you get mantic points to this as well. It should do. I think it might be on the other side to have a look. Be yeah, there we are. So you, you get four mantic points. I'm not sure what that converts to, but I'll check online. Okay, so I've unboxed these before, but I'll do a quick go over them now for people. So, rip into this. So, for those who have not seen it before, have a look at there's the nice choice of weapons. I do like how you get a combination of left and right arms. The shields with integral sort of hand and um, little thing that slots into the the arm. Uh, the mutated dogs again, and a good selection of heads to choose from. And a command piece there, like pointing, very ornate looking double handed axe. And the head. And then the body, so come on, focus. There we are. So even the backs have got a lot of detail, on, which is nice because when you're playing the game, that's what you see mostly. You see the back of your own dudes or dudettes. So there we are. And I love these big chunky shields, I must say. <laughs> They're absolutely fabulous. They're going to pit up really nice. So you get several of them. You get the plastic bases. But I don't tend to use these. I, I prefer the, um, I use MDF bases I get from uh, Saris Apparition, I think it is. Okay, all right, okay, there. The rest stick, I think, is that. So, let's have a look. Let's see what these look like. I'm just going to move the camera down so you can see. Okay, so the body is on two parts. I'm trying to find the other part for this. Oh, there we are. So there's a bit of a gap there. But I think if I can trim down some of this, it should slot in better. And then there's choices of bodies and choices of heads. If we can find any heads, oh, here we are. Yeah. So focus there we are. Yeah, nice detail on there. I feel there might be a bit of warpage going on there. If this doesn't know if that's uh, looks a little bit warped to me. I'll see if I can fix that. So yeah, these seem quite nice. Oh, and they all come with these sort of moulded bases to help them glue down. It looks like so. Yeah, you get. So I think that goes something like that. Obviously that's not the right body, but you get the idea of how they fit together. So you get 10 of these, so you get two bags of five. That's nice. And then, oh, that's, that's a hefty model, is that? <laughs> and I think it's all one piece as well. Yeah, that's nice. It's all one big solid piece. That is, yeah, he's, he's a bit of a brute. 
compare them size wise to the, the plastics. We'll focus. There we are. Yeah, <laughs> he's not much of a dwarf, really. <laughs> That's more sort of like an ogre size, I'd say he is. And the slide base of him, the slide a 20mm base. I'd... Oh, he will fit in that, actually. He just about fits in that. I am surprised he manages that base. Is that 20mm or is that 25mm? Uh, no, it's a 20mm base. And of course, you get these for the um, little centaurs. Okay, so I'm going to put a few together and then we'll get back and have a look at them. Okay, so I've just put these four models together. I'm very impressed with this one. This, this had no mold lines or flash to take off the model, which with my experience of Mantic models, I've not encountered that before. They've all seemed to have quite extensive molds and flash lines. So yeah, that's a, again, it's, it's a hefty model for a dwarf. It's quite sizable. Then we have the uh, bull centaur. So this was, there's a bit of a mold line there, no, that's a gap rather in the middle there, but it's come together quite easily. I think it's PVC, this material, um, or Vestic, not sure what they're using. So it was two bits for the torso, one for the body, the head, and then this sort of like plate that's on. Yeah, it's gone together really well. I'm looking forward to getting these painted. And of course, the new plastic warrior kit I've done before. So we've got sword and board and the good old faithful blunderbuss. Yeah, I must say the detail on these are, is fantastic. For the price these are, yeah, they're very good kits. Let's show that one again. Yeah, really impressed. Again, these shields are really big, which is quite nice. And the aesthetics of them is very unique. It's a combination of several things that they've gone for, which really makes it stand out. So yeah, I'll put a link to the uh, Neverboard, where I bought this from, on, down below. So yeah, this is the Abyssal Dwarf Army set. You get enough in here for a small force. 30 of the Dwarf Warriors, 10 of the Bull Centaurs, and the dwarf, I think it's iron caster in this, so that, I don't know what it's called, but some sort of dwarf general. So yeah, you get enough in there for a start force for Kings of War, or for Age of Fantasy, or if you still play War and Fantasy Battles, this will do you quite well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, leave a comment below. I'll catch you later.